It's unbelievable to think that one decision can change your life forever. In October 2022, I was accepted to study abroad in Australia. Oh my god, I can't believe it. This is no new place for me. However, this would be my first experience traveling alone in a foreign country. When I heard the news, I decided that I wanted to document as much of my time down under as I could to use as a memento for what was sure to be a life-changing experience. Needed the big, big boy suitcase. You know, I've always hated packing for any sort of trip. I feel like when it comes to planning, packing is the most tedious and frustrating part sometimes. I mean, of course, apart from anything that can happen at like the airport or whatever, but like you have to sometimes pack so strategically. And I always without fail will like either overpack or underpack and always forget at least one thing. As it turned out, packing, while tedious for sure, did actually go surprisingly smoothly. After days of trial and error, I was able to condense basically my entire life into only four bags, which felt pretty good. The next step in the process involved moving out of my apartment. All right, I'm currently picking up my entire room at my apartment. The room is in disarray. <laughs> Got my friend Nick here. <laughs> Just packing the lighting in this room is atrocious. Oh my God. Ugh, but yeah, packing up everything. We got a lot of stuff over there. And uh, yeah, just figured a little, little update pre-departure. Dang, I'm like holding this like I used to vlog. This is crazy. Damn. <laughs> oh, times have changed. Okay, we have got Robbie, Taylor, and Shay. It's so cool, isn't it? One thing I kept avoiding during this entire preparation process was facing the reality that I truly was about to leave my life behind. <laughs> Sorry. I now had an established foundation. I was comfortable in where I was in life and felt in control of everything. Now, all that was fading away. I was leaving my family, my friends, and my home to start again on my own for the very first time. When it's getting close and when you're about to leave and you're having to say goodbye to people, even though it's only for six months, like, this could be where my life goes forever. And trying to come to terms with that when I've been on this journey thus far of being in college and meeting a bunch of friends, living my life and then just leaving it all, pressing pause to go to another country is it's just a lot to think about, and I would be lying if I said that I have not been a little sad about it. This is where my next chapter starts. This is where my life goes. This time of my life is going to be where I decide if this journey I am on is how I want to continue my life, and it's a really big deal. So. With that, uh, I leave tomorrow morning, and I am really scared, but I just know that it's going to be 
It's gonna be worth it in the end. It's gonna be worth it. To put it lightly, this was terrifying. A part of me didn't want to go. But sometimes, you just have to take a step forward and face reality. So, with that, it was time to depart. officially down under after like 26 something hours of traveling like we went on a plane bus train and car all to get to where I need to be right now and I am beyond exhausted jet lag is hitting me really bad right now I go through moments of like like oh, I go through moments where I am extremely tired and then moments where I feel like I'm awake and could be up for another like two hours. Oh, this is not fun. The first week in Australia felt like any other vacation. Spending quality time with my family, going to beaches, exploring surrounding towns, enjoying traditional Aussie treats, drinking champagne, and celebrating Christmas. I felt welcomed and humbled to be back in this country. My thoughts of awe only heightened when we took a trip along the Great Ocean Road. Wait, wait, bring it back down. Now go. Crashing waves, towering cliffs, and a misty breeze, nothing as I've ever seen before. The magnificence of the coast was enough for me to know that I had chosen the right place. However, this feeling of a relaxing vacation would soon be interrupted by the terrifying yet exhilarating experience that was yet to come. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, it's me. I'm not sure if you've uh, seen the picture I sent you yet, but I'm all packed for the East Coast. Um, we all leave tomorrow. Mom and James fly back home, but I fly to Sydney. I don't, I don't know what my plan is yet, but I'm hoping to figure it all out when I get there. Uh, I'm scared, but, you know, also excited. I'm not sure what is in store yet, but I just wanted to give you a quick call, tell you I love you, and I uh, hope to talk to you soon. I'm not sure when that will be, but I just want to let you know I'll be okay. And sure enough, I did have no idea what was in store for me. All I knew was this was finally my chance to explore, free of itinerary and full of passion. This was only the start of my journey, and there was much, much more to come.